my star. How I've missed you. I've longed for this day. That I'd be able to see you again. This place, I... I know it must be strange that you awoke in here. There was a lot that you missed. Not because your own volition. There was an accident. And there was a deliberate attempt. Not on your life, but on mine. We survived. And we made ourselves a home here. In this district. A place where we can be safe. My star. I'm so glad you woke up. I was worried for just a time that you might not. Thank you. Thank you for coming back to me. Ah, it must have seemed like a bad dream. Well, unfortunately, there are many things that still need to be fixed in this world. But thankfully, many of these things we can mend with our own two hands, and we have been. I finally managed to get through to my family, to those around me, and the proud Eda name is now a shield of its people. The people of this district are safe for now, but we must remain vigilant. The enemies encroach daily. Things become more difficult, but we've requested aid from another encampment. Resistance. Ah, uh, yes. I've gone ahead of myself. I... I apologize, my star. This has to do with... the... fall of hero society. While you were asleep, while you were resting, many things happened. But a dear friend of mine... No. A misunderstood friend of mine ended up taking his vows in the wrong direction. His chastisement of freedom. His idea of justice. He eventually got on a power trip. This being Midoriya. I cannot stand for what he's done. And I will stand with you, Star. There is nothing that could go wrong further than it has. But there is much that can go right now with you, Star. I'm sure we can make it out of this in one piece. There is much more to be had, much more to be done. But first, relax. You'll be just fine. We have the best medical team that I could imagine us having, and, well, I'll let the doctor speak for himself. Ah, yes. Welcome. I know what you're thinking, Star, but he's turned around and became a man that has my respect as well as the one who may have saved your life, and I owe him dearly. Now, think nothing of it. This isn't about owing anything. Doctors should do it out of the kindness of their heart. And that's what I always wanted. I wanted to run my clinic to save lives because of all the lives I've mistook, all of the ones I've ruined in my past. I, I constantly face my own sins, but you don't have to go down that path. And I just want to help. As you can see, he's earned his trust around here. And well, I would ask that you put the past behind us. Times have changed, and things have become greatly more complex. Firstly, there is a sort of divide among heroes. Those who side with Midoriya, and those who side with Bakugo. We are caught somewhere in between, obviously fighting for our own desires. A third faction much smaller than the rest, but we still manage to maintain a difficult middle ground. Not because we want to, but choosing a side right now has us pinned by both. If we do not remain in this, then the marauders and the anarchists would get to us in a fortnight. But this isn't what we should be focusing on, my star. You just came to and 
The story of the world can wait. But you, my star, I... I've never missed you so much in my life as when I thought I might lose you. My star, won't you come with me? I... I love you, star. I love you so very much. I've... I've been better, but... It's nowhere near as bad as it was. Somehow the collapsing of society and all the things we faced has made my family more understanding of things. I love you, Star. I love you more than anything. And that's why I had to stand up. I couldn't take their pressuring any longer. Their ancient habits, their traditions, I respect them. But they are not my own. I am a new Ida, and I am Tenya, not just my family name. I live because I want to write poems of you. I want to experience them firsthand. I want to be a part of your life that you've never had to be something for you. My star, I've, I've never felt this way about anything. It was always following rules, doing things by the book. But sometimes, and especially when you think you lose someone, it makes you question all what you have worked for, everything you've done. Like when I thought I lost my brother, when I thought I lost you. One thing after the next, after the next. My star, I, I love you. And I've wrote so many poems for you while you were gone, I, I missed you more than anything. My star, may I kiss you? I'm so glad you're back. You aren't in pain, right? There's nothing lingering wrong that you can feel. No numbness, no loss of memory. Ah. Uh, Yes, maybe it's a bit early to ask that. My star, tell me anything and everything you want, or tell me nothing at all. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you're here with me now. I don't need to face these travesties on my own. Not that I want to shove you in it, but I needed you. Being alone in this, having to fight for everything I believe in, without so much as a hug from you, without so much as a conversation for this long month. I, I know it's not easy, Star. I don't know who to trust outside of these walls, but, but I know I can trust you. And I was hoping maybe, just maybe you could help me figure out what I'm supposed to do. It's this way or that way, right or left, I never can seem to distinguish. But Star, don't you worry. Today's different. It doesn't need to be about business and order, and I've learned one thing from you, then it's that I don't need to always be by the book. I've learned that there's comfort in not knowing what is right and what is wrong. There's comfort in trying to find it out by making mistakes. And I've realized that while order can be wonderful, there is an amount of chaos that we all need to be human. I cannot be a robot and I cannot be a mindless slave to books that I did not write. And if I write them, if I write the poems that be, I want them to be my own. I want them to be special to me. And I want them to be something that I can truly say I follow with all my heart. Not just because of my family, not just because of even you, my star. I want to be my own man, more than someone who lives in tradition, more than someone bound by rules. I am being quite redundant. I yes, my star. Don't you worry. I'm here for you always. And right now, I wanted to spoil you. I I've been teaching myself to cook uh, these, these past months. I wanted to make you something. Would you mind if I rolled you over 
Uh, stay in the wheelchair for now. If I rolled you over and, and cooked for you in the kitchen. It's a beautiful kitchen, as you know. But now, now with open arms and no prejudice against who I choose to love, who I choose to want. That's what I craved, and now it's here. And I only feared that I would have never gotten a chance to enjoy it, but thankfully, thankfully, Star, you came back to me. You didn't leave me alone, and I know it's not your fault. That explosion. We still don't know what caused it, who caused it. But I will get to the bottom of this. It robbed us of more than a month of our lives together. I can't forgive them for that. No matter how amicable I wish to be, I will never stand for you being harmed by anyone. My star, this is one thing I will not budge on. I will protect you, and anyone that seeks to do you harm, I will end them. No, that's too far. Ending them, no. Make them face justice. That's what I want. I still haven't learned from the days of my brother being maimed. I still have much to know, much to learn, much to understand about what it means to be myself. Penya Ida, the man who wishes to be so many things, but doesn't know where to start many times. And yet with you, Star, I feel like it's all written, written down in our poems that we've written together. Like stars apart, the winds of change, the sky as black as night, but our hearts as warm as twilight. To the end, which is the beginning, a black hole never ending, with a supernova of feelings and a passion of wanting to see you smile. My star, I have been living in my dreams since you've gone, but I never once believed you were gone for good. I held on to the hope and look at you. You didn't leave me behind, star, and I... I'm so thankful for that. You saved me, Star, in more ways than one. Ways you'll never understand until, until you see it. I've done so much, and I believe I can lead this world back from its broken pieces into something that resembles peace. I know I might not be as great a hero as All Might, but I hope you'll be with me forever. That you'll never stop, Star. That you'll understand that there was so much that we missed together. But what we missed, I will make up for a thousand times, no, ten thousand times more. Because millions of times more wouldn't be enough. But my star, I am here with you. And I love you so, so much. Sorry, I, I, I realize I've, I've been rambling. What would you like to eat? I'm sure there's something. <laughs> I didn't want it to be too serious for you. You just woke up and I, I was talking far too much. Going on and on about things you shouldn't be focusing on. At least not right away. My star, the passion I feel for you only grows by the day. And I just want you to know that for everything I, I've learned... A lot. And I've reflected on what you've said to me. And I'm proud to say I'm growing as a man. A man who deserves you. I full, wholeheartedly believe. No matter what kind of fool it makes me, I will be that fool gladly and follow my heart. Because if I didn't, I would just be a pawn to the others. Now, Star, how are you feeling? Are you certain? It doesn't hurt anywhere, then. Oh, thank goodness. I was so worried, Star. So worried. I must sound like a broken record right now. But it's just these feelings. They're like a poem that never ends. 
That's what I feel our relationship is, our ties to each other, like red strings of fate, like hearts entwined, like pinkies crossed. Do you like that one? I made it as a form of promise, uh, but not the kind where you swallow needles if you break it, but one you know would never be broken. Something, a trust beyond a trust. My star, I love you. I love you so much. May I hold you for just a moment? I know, star. I know. It must be so confusing. Are you certain you want to know? Then, then I'll hold you close. And I'll tell you, I missed you, Star. I missed you from the very first moment. And as much tears as I've shed, I realized crying won't help other than alleviating the pain. But I wanted a cure, and I found it. My cure was hope that you would come back. My cure was changing the world for the better, even if it was my small world that we are surrounded by. These walls that protect us, they mean everything. But yet, I care for you more than the walls. As shameless as it is to say, a man of duty could never ever love his duty more than his, his one true love, his star. I am a weak man, but a strong man in other ways. I'm weak to the thought of losing you, but strong because I know I can make a world where we can be happy, where we can live out our dreams together. Strong in the fact that I look into your eyes and I see hope, hope that I can bring to you together that we can make. I love you, Star. Would you like to hear something? A bit of a silver lining of things. I've been in communication and I do think that peace is possible between uh, Kotsky's faction and, and Midoriya's. It may not come easy. In fact, it probably will be a long time. But I'm working on diplomacy, even on these anarchistic times. I will make this world a better place, and I'll be the hero you always believed in me for. The one that you saw, you said I could be. Those words, when you told me that I was already. I felt so relieved. That at least you saw me as a success. You saw me as a man trying his best. You saw me as a man so... So flawed and yet... I... I was something to you, Star. I love that I am. I love that I was. I love that you're mine, Star. And please don't misunderstand. For every doubt I've ever had about this world, about us. I've grown past them. <laughs> Though Star, I must admit, I've never once doubted you, not in the way that you think. The only thing I doubted was that you'd be able to maintain your carefreeness after everything was said and done. Your beautiful attitude, your gorgeous eyes, I... I get lost in thinking about you, and I don't mean to be too physical about things, but feeling your warmth against me, it did things to me that no one could. It made me feel happiness in droves that never goes away. I felt like a man again, instead of just a worm, instead of someone who's always focusing on my, my negatives. You focused on what you loved about me, and I grew to love it too. I grew to love myself, which is more than I could ever have said before. I accepted myself, sure, but I never put love forth to the mirror. 
I always gave it to other things, to traditions, to rules, things I thought that were what I was supposed to be. But now, now I see the world, Star. I see the world as a new man. And you helped me reach this chapter of my life. You helped my storied past turn into more than what defines me. You made me feel. You made me see. You made me hear everything I needed to hear. In order to escape from the box of which I lived in. I was putting my head in the sand and now I'm not. But I I'm rambling. I'm sorry, Star. Excuse me? You, you mean you don't mind? Then... <laughs> I'm overjoyed to hear that. I love you, Star. I love you in ways that hurt, in ways that feel, in ways that define me. And beyond anything else, beyond the leader that I've become, beyond the man that people look up to, the ones they need for guidance, those who have lost so much, they matter to me, like family. But you are my one and only guiding star. And I love who you are, who you become, who you wish to be, my star. I want this to be a day we can always remember. When we were reunited just like this, when all of the bad in the world may not have gone away all at once, where we had a moment's reprieve to gather our breath and finally look into each other's eyes after so long, Star, after so long. I, pardon me, I just, sometimes I, I had to juggle those feelings of really feeling like I lost you because it had been so long. Even if I didn't lose faith, my heart ached. And now, Star, now I just can't get enough of you, just rubbing my cheek against yours, kissing your lips, holding you. It makes me feel so alive in ways I never thought. I never thought I could. My Star, you are everything to me. And as selfish and as cruel as those words could be, I will be honest with you to a fault. As much as I obsess over you, as much as you are what helps me breathe, what helps me wake up in the morning, what helps me find my courage when I have none, you are everything to me, Star. I want to find myself and love myself like I have been. But still, Star, you were my hope that I needed. My guiding light. And I'm thankful, Star. And finally, finally I'm able to be free of these worries. And now I can see you again. I can feel you again. I can speak with you and further grow alongside you. Won't you just let me have a moment to hold you in my arms? I know I, I mentioned food and you must be starving, but, but I just, I want to make sure you're real. I want to make sure that you're not just my imagination playing tricks on me, my mind finally breaking under the stress and pressure, my star, I, I'm thankful for all you do. I'm thankful for everything you've graced me with. I'm thankful for who you are and what you've done. I love you, star, and I wish that every moment will be as special to you as it is to me. Because, Star, I could never be the man I am today without the star beside me, without this warm embrace, 
without everything you've taught me. I think I would have despaired and lost myself. Then a pawn to this or that. Whether I was a hero, I wouldn't be who I am. I'd be just another number. Just another cog in a machine that I don't want to be a part of. Not without you, Star. Never without you. Never. You know, it's strange, Star. I had dreams of you waking up so many times. And now that you actually are, I, I feel as though my, my conversation skills, my, my notion of what to say has melted. Melted like hot iron. Because as those red coals faced me, the trials that this world presented, I, I, I never, never thought I'd be able to smile like this again. I never thought I would have you in my arms like I do now. And I am so, so beyond thankful that I get to experience this experience you once again because there is no replacing my star none nothing in this world is as sweet as you and nothing will ever ever be as impactful or meaningful to me and i say this shamelessly knowing how greedy i am with you knowing how greedy I am of a person, how selfish I can be. And yet, I will never regret it, Star. Never, ever again. Because, Star, I've come to realize how much and how special you are. How every single time I thought I couldn't possibly have learned something new about myself, something new about the world. You taught me something far beyond that. You gave me love where no one else could have. You made me happy when I didn't know what the meaning of the word really was. That's why, as you've taught me love, I want to give it back to you. I want to share it with you in ways that you would never be able to experience. Well, I should hope not as good as with me. But maybe it's my greed talking, but I want to be something, someone to you that changes everything. I want to be that light in the darkness, the one that makes you feel like you can't. I want to be the light that shines for you like you are my guiding star. I want to be that force of good more than just a hero. I want to be someone that you can depend on as much as you can rely on, as much as you can love, as much as you can hold, as much as you can feel. The love that I give to you is my everything. And I want it to be more than just a status quo than just something that you accept, something that you feel. I want it to change your life for the better and make you feel true love, my star. I want you to be my special little star forever. And I'll never leave you. And I'll never let you down, star. Because deep down, I could never imagine a single day without you, even if I've experienced a month without you. And now, now that you're back, Star, my life, it feels so vibrant again, like a colorless life became so vibrant, like a painting in black and white that turned into a myriad rainbow of color. You are that canvas to me. Beautiful, wonderful, gorgeous, and one-of-a-kind star that makes me happy where nothing else ever could. You're my star, and I love you, and I want to share in the love that we have. 
I want it to be truly something that you can't live without either. My star. I want to spoil you without any hesitation. I want to spare nothing to make this world one you can be proud of, to make your life happy and healthy and wonderful. And to that end, Star, I will be whatever I need to be in order to be your man, in order to show you the love you never got to make up for the pain of this world and to make up for the time we missed together. I love you, Star, and I only wish words could capture it in the ways that you deserve. My gorgeous Star. God, you have no idea, Star, how much it makes me feel special just hearing your voice again. Just being able to enjoy this simple moment of being near you. How much it means to me is beyond what words could ever express, my star. It is everything to me. You are everything to me, star. And I'm thankful for every moment every passionate gaze, every sensual touch. And I would give anything to make this moment last forever, Star. It is a moment I will savor and make last as long as I have my mind, as long as I have my memories. This will be one I cherish most of all. My star, are you sure? This is what you want. A anything is fine. Well, I did miss you too. Then, if you'll excuse me, star, I suppose I could prepare your meal. A meal of kisses, of holding. I love you, star. You are everything to me, Star. Make no mistake. I would steal the sun itself if I could make sure every single day was as you wished, as you wanted. A happy day just for you. My one and only Star. Are you certain? It doesn't hurt anywhere, does it? I want to make sure that I never betray your expectations or leave you wanting in ways that I couldn't have given you before. I want you to be satiated, happy, and... <coughs> understood, Star. <coughs> My star. I love you. As much as I need you, star. If anything is uncomfortable, or if, if at all I go too far. Okay, Star, I will be with you, but that means nothing if I can't take care of you properly. My Star, just relax, I, I love you, and I will tend to every need you can imagine and make sure I'm a man of your dreams, not just one who can give you something. I want to give you everything, my star. I love you so much. You're everything to me, star. 
Please remember that. Never forget it. Never ever forget it, Star. I love you far more than this life would ever allow us to express it. And I want you to be safe. I want you to be happy. I want you to be mine, Star. I love you too much for this. So much so that I can never, ever look at you and see any imperfection. Star, no. Not by a long shot. My star is perfect and wonderful and true. And I want nothing more than that smile on your face. Than those wonderful noises you make. Ah, oh, star. Will you be mine forever? If I might be so bold as to request. Could you say my name? I would love to hear my name on those gorgeous lips of yours. I would love to hear you tell me what you feel in this moment. I would love if this moment went on forever and the way I see that being, we would need to make it one to remember, which I fully intend to do. That's right, Star. I love you so, so much. You're everything to me, baby. You're more than everything. Please never forget. I'll be your man until the stars in the sky burn out. Until everything around us is nothing but dust. I would still have strong feelings for you even then. I love you, Star. I love you. I love you so much, Star. I love you. And I'll cherish this moment. And every other moment we have. As a true love's embrace. I love you, Star. I, I didn't hurt you, did I? I want you to be safe and happy. I want you to never forget how much you mean to me. I love you, my star. My star. How I love you. You're okay, right? You're not just telling me that. You truly are my star, aren't you? Oh, thank goodness, star. I got so nervous after all that. I wondered, and I, I, I doubted at moments of insecurities. But Star, now that you're back, there's so much we can do. So much good times to have. So much wonderful memories to make. I love you, Star. I love you more than anything in this world. And I want to spoil you. I wasn't too much, was I? I certainly hope not. If I'm ever too much, Star, you have my permission to tell me up front. To do whatever you need to do to communicate with me. When I'm wrong, I want to know it. And I want to make good. And I promise to be the best man I possibly can for you. I love you, my Star. I love you more than everything else.